Hi, in this video, I want to talk to you about Classical Mechanics by John R. Taylor. Now, this book is a classic, no pun intended. It's a classic in classical mechanics. Um, I have read through this entire book, and I think it's honestly probably one of the best undergraduate texts in the subject. So let's get into it. Classical Mechanics by John R. Taylor, University of Colorado. Printed by University Science Books. The printing is also really good on this, just to point out. Okay, so table of content. So he starts out by discussing Newton's laws of motion. This is very elementary, um, and it just briefly discusses it. Uh, just talks about space and time, mass and force, and just some conversions to different reference frames, sorry, different um, coordinate systems. Uh, like polar coordinates. Uh, so then we, in chapter two, we move on to projectiles and charged particles, uh, where it talks just more about air resistance and quadratic linear air resistance and the solutions to both of them, which is actually really interesting. Chapter three, we move on to momentum and angular momentum. Um, once again, this is pretty elementary. If you've had like a really robust classical mechanics course in an undergrad, uh, you would have probably seen pretty much all of this, the chapter one, two, and three so far. So it talks about rockets also, which is like the continuous loss of mass as the body is accelerating. Uh, center of mass and some other concepts. Chapter four is really where the difference starts, where you really move into a high level classical mechanics course. And the material here is really, really awesome. I absolutely love this chapter. It really connected a lot of the dots for me from other lower level classical mechanics classes. It talks a lot about path independence, um, deriving conservative forces from potential energies, that kind of stuff, the conditions for conservativeness, just really cool concepts. Also, it uses a lot more mathematics that you usually don't see, or at least in lower level classes. So this chapter was really awesome. Oscillations uh, just covers pretty much all the solutions to the uh, differential equation for simple harmonic motion. And it talks a little about damping and resonance, and it even talks about, where is it? Fourier series in here, which is a much higher level concept. So it was kind of cool to see it in there. Chapter six has a whole chapter dedicated to calculus of variations. I thought this was really, really good. Taylor does an excellent job of deriving the Euler-Lagrange equations. I think it's really good, to, easy to follow and just really intuitive, makes sense. Um, he explains it really well. All the topics in here, we've got, of course, the Euler-Lagrange equation, some applications, and it even talks about things like geodesics and um, Fermat's principle. And of course, it's very natural to just move into chapter seven on Lagrange's equations. The treatment here is excellent. I think it's honestly the best out of all the books I've read. Um, it just, it's really easy to follow, makes sense. And then of course, we move on to two body central force problems. This is pretty natural continuation of Lagrange's equations. Mechanics and non-inertial frames. Rotational motion of rigid bodies. This section is very good. It's um, probably one of the harder, harder uh, chapters in the book, but it covers everything well. I think, honestly, it is lacking um, conceptually why these things, these things are happening physically. All the math is there, but I think it's just lacking in that area. Coupled oscillations and normal modes, mo mostly just treating the linear case. Uh, and then it moves on to further topics, first of which is nonlinear mechanics and chaos. This was a really cool chapter because it sort of filled in the gaps, especially in chapters like Couple Oscillations and Normal Modes, where it doesn't talk about um, the nonlinear case. Next, we have Hamiltonian mechanics. Uh, honestly, this is a little bit underwhelming. Hamiltonian mechanics is, of course, uh, another formalism of classical mechanics. But it, in this chapter, it doesn't really even talk about why it's useful or what it's even used for, apart from perhaps discussing phase space and perhaps how that's geometrically better than, than um, state space. 
Then we've got collision theory and special relativity. And then we finish off with continuum mechanics. And we've got some appendix on linear algebra and some further reading. It also does have the answers to selected odd number problems, which is always nice, you know, for a book to actually have some of the problem, some of the answers to the questions in the back. As you can see, solutions. A lot of them are quite partial as well, so, which is also kind of nice because it means that you have to do some of the work as well. They're not full solutions, so it will just give you like an answer. So it doesn't show any of the working. But overall, this book is just incredible. I think it's probably one of the best for undergrads taking classical mechanics. Uh, probably something that is lacking is that it doesn't really show how classical mechanics fits into like fits into physics really, and how it relates to different areas of physics. Honestly, that would have been nice because there are other books out there that do do exactly that. The readability on this thing is just incredible, and it doesn't sacrifice much rigor either for, for the readability. Um, I, if I must make a word on some of the problems in this book, uh, they can be quite bland, if I'm being honest. Some of them are more interesting, like here's, here's one here that I found quite interesting. But um, a lot of them can be quite bland and also repetitive, repetitive type of questions. Um, but I mean, they're pretty standard, really. There's nothing that's really true. They're not bad, they're just, they're not exactly great. Some of them are interesting. So overall, if you're thinking about picking up a book on classical mechanics at the undergraduate level, and you've already had a solid class in classical mechanics and you want to take it further, this is probably the book for you. I 100% recommend it. Um, excellent print, excellent readability. Just all around a good book. Thank you for watching.